Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing our series on philosophical distinctions with semantically de re and de dicto. This is not going to be a 90 second philosophy video because I couldn't do semantically de re de dicto justice in 90 seconds. So we're going to double up for a three minute philosophy video. Now, if you haven't checked out my videos earlier on the basics of de re and de dicto and syntactically de re and de dicto, you might want to do that now. So, a definition of semantically de re de dicto is offered in the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy. It goes like this. A sentence is semantically de re just in case it permits substitution of co-designating terms salva veritate. Otherwise, it is semantically de dicto. For a better understanding of that, or a translation if you were confused, a sentence is semantically de re only if you can switch out any noun or subject for another noun or subject that refers to the same object without changing the truth value of the statement. Otherwise, it is semantically de dicto. Let's take a look at this definition in action. So last time when we were playing with syntactically de re and de dicto, we found that the statement, Ralph believes that someone is a spy, can be split into either Ralph believes that spies exist or Ralph believes of a specific person that they are a spy. Let's call that person Orchid. Now, Ralph believes of Orchid that he is a spy. There's also some other things going on here. So Ralph knows Orchid as the mayor. Ralph also knows Orchid as the man he is pointing to in the darkness. The problem is Ralph does not know the mayor is the man he's pointing to in the darkness. Ralph believes of the man he's pointing to in the darkness, that that man is a spy, but Ralph does not believe the mayor is a spy. Let's take a look at how this maps onto De Re and De Dicto. So, Ralph believes the man he is pointing to in the dark is a spy. Is this true De Re or is this true De Dicto? Well, let's see. The statement, it seems to be true itself. However, in order to see if it's de re, we need to replace some subject in the statement with another subject that refers to the same thing. Let's replace the man he's pointing to in the dark with the mayor. Ralph believes the mayor is a spy. That's false. So our original statement was only true de dicto. What about the man Ralph is pointing to in the dark is such that Ralph believes of that man that he is a spy? Well, this seems to be true once again, but Let's see if it's only true de dicto or if it's true de re. We'll replace the man Ralph is pointing to in the dark with something that also refers to Orchid, the mayor. The mayor is such that Ralph believes of that man that he is a spy. This is also true because Ralph does believe of Orchid, of that man, that he is a spy, even though he doesn't know that that man is also the mayor. So it's true de re. To be clear, de dicto, statements like Ralph believes the man he's pointing to in the dark is a spy, and Ralph believes that someone is a spy. De Ray statements look like the man Ralph is pointing to in the dark is such that Ralph believes of that man that he is a spy, and the mayor is such that Ralph believes of that man that he is a spy. That was semantically De Ray De Dicto. Next up is modally De Ray De Dicto. Watch this video and more at carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.